Good day friends, this is Suresh Kumar from Zebu on for Zebu School on Daily Morning Update. Uh, today, uh, unfortunately, was a down day for the investors who were bought in a couple of days earlier. Probably there have been a minor loss. But the good news is, after a very, very, very long time, FAS bought some stocks for a change. They've been selling it for more than so many days. I mean, so many days, so, so many days that people have lost count. Fortunately for us, yesterday they have bought it for about 500 crores. It is a small amount compared to the, all the selling that has happened, but we'll take our wins. Probably we hope that this will be a, a, a signs of things to come. They will start buying. If they were to start buying, the market will go up. Okay, coming back to technicals. Here, if you were to look at a rough daily chart of how the Nifty is, we'll find this is around uh, 18,200 where the, there is a, I mean the highs, the uh, lifetime highs. And here, if you see that in the daily chart, you will find some broad support around 15,700. Whenever it reaches somewhere in that region, there is a bounce back happened two times already. Now, where are we now? Somewhere around 15,000, uh, 16,500 in between these two. So be very, very cautious in your positions. When it near the support, you go on a directional strategy, which has a high probability of things going up. So that time you should take, uh, you should have taken a directional strategy betting on being long if it is an option strategy. Here, and one more thing to be noted about today is that today is, I mean yesterday was the US market holiday. So there was no uh, international group, particularly from the US markets and uh, how the market is going to behave. So whatever is going to happen, mostly is going to be based on uh, other countries except US and then predominantly on domestic use. So market has opened 100 points down, probably due to technical uh, profit uh, booking, for uh, at least from the retail investors uh, side. And then uh, let's get to the stocks. Uh, LAC has given its uh, uh, results, not something great. We expected a lot from uh, LAC. A lot of people expected a lot from LAC. And the dividend they have announced is also very, very less compared to the people's expectation. But the stock didn't fall much because of that, somewhere around 200 percentage, which is uh, ordinary these days when compared to any other stocks, uh, the mainland stocks even. Blue chip stick stocks also moves about two, 200 percentage each day without uh, any valid reason. So this, we can discount it to be uh, not news based. And the Sun Pharma has given a result to other significant companies, if you were to see, the Sun Pharma has given the results and uh, nothing great there. They have, uh, uh, shown huge loss due to uh, one-time exceptional losses, but uh, we need to study that in detail to find out uh, whether the company to keep invested or uh, uh, buy it at, uh, if there is to be a loss, should we buy it? We need to analyze that. And then IRCTC has given decent results when compared to the earlier uh, uh, year, probably due to this uh, low base effect. Let's explore that also. And uh, crude oil, continues to reach higher highs every day. It is in a very, very alarming territory. Along with the inflation, the crude oil is also uh, something which is having a negative overhang on not only our market, but also on the in international market. If you were to take the cryptos, the Bitcoin went up by about $2,000, $2,600 yesterday, uh, uh, till uh, yesterday since we closed yesterday till uh, today morning. Because that as you said yesterday evening, the China easing up the restriction due to COVID is considered as a, as a major positive. So the risk on mindset has come back to the market and the uh, commodity price, I mean, not the commodity prices, the Bitcoin prices went up yesterday. Let's see how it plays out because it all depends on the quantitative tightening uh, on the Federal Reserve because that is the most important thing. Uh, when compared to the other factors, that is uh, even the local domestic factors. So keep an eye on that. Be very, very light in your positions. You are in a kind of uh, no trade territory. So um, for t today's trade, we suggest that since there is no going to be any external queues, it's going to be domestic queues. We suggest that we expect the market to be in the range bound condition today. So our suggestion is that um, go with your neutral uh, strategies today, at least for today, 
uh, what oppositions are taken, even if it is neutral, wind it up by the uh, day of the end of the day. Uh, be very, very asset light because it is in between territory, at least in the daily frame, time frame. We'll do analysis on the other time frames to find out uh, major support and resistance, and uh, we'll have some better strategies in the day to come. So keep watching this uh, space. If you have any doubts, if you want to know more about this, please let us know in the comments. We will be addressing this points very specifically. Thank you. This is Suresh Kumar signing off for Zibu and Zibu School. Today's market update and analysis. Thank you.